I just get disappointed every time I order. And some of them are losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. I love that. Let's make it as sexy as possible. Let's see what it is. Is that best price on the green? Was that 235? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, bro. What, what, what model is that? Chiron. Oh, it's one of those. That's, that's like a, a modern one. That's, that's how you say it? Chiron? Chiron. Because I've seen, I've seen Some the people will call it Chiron, some people will call it Chiron. What says back here? Peace, unique. Friday, and we're getting ready for our weekly meeting. Of course, everybody's late, but uh, just take a look at how everything is, uh, how everything looks in the showroom outside right before the meeting. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> It's becoming like a little, a little routine showing Betty. So what time is it? What time is it? It's time to put makeup on. It's 9.59. Makeup. Wow. They still have time. They still have time to make it on time. One minute. Yep. 54, 56. The Mr. official has been experiencing great wind shear and resistance on the highway with his Ferrari. So he's going to be a little late. But uh, I think we have like 80% of the team right here. Yeah. Because it's not. I don't know where's traffic because there is no traffic anywhere. Yes. We just got this new piece. Look at this. A very rare meteorite, white gold. Betty, I'm trying to record. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, you're good. You know how Betty is. <laughs> Beautiful, right? It feels dark. I know. I am raro. Let's not injure myself. Like Dan tells me all the time, we need content, not injuries. Rose gold baguette down oyster flakes. Daytona. It's a rose gold Daytona oyster flakes. Look, watch this. Are you ready? Born ready. What are we doing? Oh, about the website. Yes, we did launch shop.crmjewelers.com. We launched with some jewelry. We don't have watches yet. They're gonna be added as we move along, but we need your feedback. Crash the website, crash the website. Let us know if there's any links, anything that takes you to a wrong place, it doesn't work. You can buy everything that you find in there. Jewelry, we're not be adding watches. Jewelry, jewelry, um, how's the song? Joyeria, <laughs> There we go, how are you, man? Too bad, how are you? Good man, nice to meet you. So Dan was telling me that you're studying to be a watchmaker. Yeah, I'm learning with the British Horological Institute, which has been over 250 years of teaching watch and clock makers. And I'm doing a distance learning course, um, but I'm doing the technician grade, and then I'm going to do the more advanced grade after I've done this, which will take around a year. So the whole process takes about a year? Yeah, there's 12 lessons. Nice. It's like an online school or? Yes, you do all the work at home. There's also the offer, like offer just for people that have the passion but don't want to get the accreditation. You take apart the watch without going through the school first and just like, let's see what I can do here. I'm going to fix the crystal on it. Well, not fix it, but replace the crystal and replace the seals and then get a new leather strap on it as well. Nice. Um, I'm ordering the parts for this today, um, the Longy. Expect they'll probably be in within a week or something like that. Just because the tools are taking a bit longer to arrive I think it might be better to do this first and then the tools second just because I can do some of the work with just some of the tools that I have and not cut corners still because I have the tools. Doing like a full in-depth review of like everything you'll need to be a watchmaker. That's perfect man, that's perfect. Yeah, I don't think everybody's done watchmaking videos. At least I have yet to see a good watchmaking video on what tools serve what purpose. Thank you so much for the opportunity. No problem brother, thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one man. You too, take care. Go ahead and make this a lot nicer. <laughs> It's traditional. <clears throat> Have you seen the video on how the cube links are made? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what got the attention. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right, so you could, this is a 26, you can either throw it on over your head or you can open the latch here. He's wanted a cube link for a long, long time. time. How'd you find out about cube links? You seen them? Just your, your channel. Our channel? That's <laughs> yeah. how, the first time you saw a cube link? We just pass it. Yeah.
that's also rose gold. I don't know if you like yellow or rose better. Yeah, I want. I like rose gold. I, yeah, no problem. <laughs> I like yellow with cube links because that's a traditional. Yeah. Just yeah. how cube links. And what's the length on this? That's a 26 inch. Um, normally, I recommend anywhere from 24 to 26. The reason I say those two is because any shorter than that is kind of like a choker. Okay. I don't like it, it's a little uncomfortable. Um, the Cuban links, you usually wear them inside the shirt just to let the back of the chain show. Mm -hmm. At yep. least that's how we work, rock them here in Miami. Yep. The 26 is comfortable because you can still slide on, on and off your head, so nothing's fighting the clasp. 24, depending on the size of your head, you can like manage it. Right. I like 24s because if you look, like you look down, yeah. they won't fall off over your head. They yeah, kind of I stuff. think I prefer a 24 inch. A 24 inch? Do you like the width? I don't know. I'd want to probably see something smaller. Smaller than that? Well, smaller than that would be machine see. made. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's as small as they're going to get. It also doesn't... No, it I, looks like, kind I like of the width funny of with well, a photo. I was about to say, yeah, 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 yeah. put it in but, your shirt so I can see it. Like, because you're not going to wear it over. Like that looks weird. Huh? It's going that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just pull the photo down. You see that color. Oh, give us a time back. So, another reason I like 24 as well is because it's going on your shirts. And you have like one. I saw you on a Roman's page. Anyone Roman's page. Yeah, we don't, awesome. we don't have a market for this. No? Let me see. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm like. We can sell them. Everything well, sells. Well, right. for you to well, to well, let me see. If the price is right, we'll yeah. understand. There you go. I'll leave you all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do you have a 24 inch? Yes, I should. Point four. So 277, 200. This is a machine. I clean it, I put a little polishing cloth through it. Mm -hmm. This little wax cloth, it'll look brand new again. Yeah. Um, just from people trying no, to I actually like the, I like the width of the chain. I think I yeah. wanted 24 inch length though. So I believe this is a 24. It's not, yeah. It's not the best. Yeah. You know that I worked here for almost a year and a half and I still don't know how to measure keep it? You just put it on zero, put it on zero, and it should reach 12. 5740 is the record. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. 12.7. Only at CRM do the ex employees still come by. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Or you just want to see like a little yeah, a little just a little glimpse, like a little glimpse, a little glimpse, and that's how that's how it's we like a man's here. version of lingerie, just a little, just a, a little, little tickle, showing the guy. Exactly. Yeah, just a, it's perfect because that would put it out. It depends. <laughs> right it's like right. you, you get to a bar, you're like this. Four drinks in, you're just <laughs> and swing in. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, the reason I always said like 24, especially like here in Miami, is because you can still put on over, on and off your head. But you go to jump off the boat or you go jump in the pool, it's not gonna like fly off your head. It's gonna get stuck. So, right. I think it's a happy medium. Well, he does a lot of bending over to like the baby, end, yeah. so we don't want it falling yeah. onto the baby. Well, we also don't want the babies to rip it off. <laughs> yeah, so you want something a little <laughs> no, it's it's durable, but durable. These, <laughs> the people rock Cuban links in the eighties, and I was more nineties, two thousands. That's what the that's what the Cuban links don't start. Oh, I thought that was a rope chain. Oh, there was a lot of money in Miami. Now everybody in Miami broke. <laughs> 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 Are you guys ready to go to the next one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a rich yellow color versus a 10 carat over time they'll start looking almost like a like more silver with a tone of yellow. 14 carat also gets it's harder to scratch than an 18 carat. 18 carat is a little bit more malleable. Like this 24 watch this put this in your hand feel the weight on this versus the weight on this. Very similar chains a lot heavier. Wow. Which one is which? Well, so the heavier carat, one? 14 carat? Correct. Yeah. So then also, you can see the imperfections here in this chain. You see how it's all bent out of shape, like the links? Oh, yeah. yeah. Because 24 karat is very malleable. So you literally go like this, and you're bending the chain. So I made this for a YouTube video. It's not something that I would sell. It's just something that we made, and we're like, OK, let's just leave it there. Yeah. I'd rather not sell this because if you I'm know, putting my name behind it, the chain is all bent out of shape. And right. You want it to be perfect. Correct. Or as close to it as possible, because with handmade, it's very hard to have perfect. 
It locks in here. It's pretty secure like that. Where are you guys from? Yeah. Winston Salem, North Carolina. Chris Adams. Yeah. Carlos Marcelin, I'm this guy, Jack. This guy. <laughs> Most people wouldn't think there's such such a hard work to make a Cuban link. I don't think I'll well, be you able to. Well, you can't find them anywhere in North Carolina. I don't know. Yeah. People here don't know how to drive. That's they don't have right? They don't have any uh, Everyone <laughs> hogs the left lane. Everyone... In the south, people are a lot more courteous driving. You're stopped on the side of the road, and they'll either like move out of the way so they're not flying yeah. by you at 100, right. or they'll stop and help you. Yeah, in Miami, it's like screaming at you, getting as close to you as possible. You're like, I'm gonna die here on the side of the road. This is any places you recommend, like sushi, Thai food. So C Spice is always good. It's open though? It's, oh, it's amazing, yeah. Okay, so Sea Spice, very cool. It's waterfront views. Oh, it, yeah. oh, seafood, steaks. Mm, seafood. Very, very, very nice. Yeah. Very, very good, great ambience. Yeah, very Super cool. Good totally in the energy. places that I go, you know? Yeah. So, have you seen the channel? That's where we go to eat. How, how long you guys are going to be down here for? Till tomorrow. Well, yeah, we went yeah. tomorrow. I say you yeah, have to, that's no, the best place to go. go sea Spice. Uh, so I'll see if you really want to come, uh, call Mitch, make sure you reserve a table for them. Okay. But yeah. well, you're going to love that place. It's okay. so like... Oh, now, he makes the bladder. best steak. I can't order steak anywhere yeah, anymore funny. because yeah. I just get disappointed every time I order a steak. The seafood platter there is crazy. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, with the, the crab, with the oysters, shrimp, shrimps, shrimps oh. tiger uh, palms, lobster. It's all like kind of not raw, but I think it's like kind of boiled. I don't know. Steamed, like, I think. Steamed, I don't know steamed, however, steamed, however they yeah. crab. Cold. The, the fans that we got, we, we continue to do it just because of the fans. For yeah. me, yeah. like, I just want to so watch do all the things, you know, but I have mm -hmm. to do that content because you read it on the comments. Everybody's like, Carlos, you motivate people. Carlos, thank you for what you're doing, and I will continue to do yeah. it. You know, we teach people, we try to guide people to our best knowledge, and so far, we, you know, we've done good. But the people that, they listen to me and they made a lot of money in watches. I got a ton of Rolex. Ton of Rolex, yeah. yeah. yeah my, first one, you my, first, my first one I bought was a Batman on a oyster bracelet. Okay. That was your first watch? What, 2016? Nice, 20, 2016, 15? It is 27. It was 17? like the last model before they went to the Jubilee bracelet. The Jubilee bracelet, okay. yeah, right? And this is like the anniversary dial. So it's this one right here. It's kind of special. It's crazy. This watch, well, let's say without the diamond bezel, it's worth now around 70,000. Uh, regular rose gold is fifty four thousand, and it just went down because it was almost at a hundred thousand. Now, yeah, that watch was at a hundred thousand, and just the market dropped and it went down. I like this one. Oh, yeah, I like it too. That's uh, a <laughs> like ton on steroid. That's like a hundred and seventy thousand with a meteorite dial because it's a special watch. Oh yeah, right. It's a special That's watch. Right. They make it in rose and they make it in yellow. It's yeah. so sick. For me, meteorite dial is the nicest dial that wrote it. <laughs> you know. So are anybody buying watches with it? Being people are buying, people are buying. They're, for me, well, Willie just sold a paddock, the only thousand dollar paddock, but it's not like what before, that we were selling, you know, half a million dollar watches, literally like every day or every other day. Mm -hmm. Now what happened is that all the people that got the real money for the pieces that I have, they probably lost some money in, in all their investment that they have because everything is down and then now they're holding up and they don't want to buy these big pieces that, and some of them are losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can't win all the time. No. You gotta, you know, lose to win again. So, like when I first started in the business, I started selling Rolex only. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to sell anything else. And then mm -hmm. came the Hublot era. Then I started selling Hublot. Boy, that's my boy and three girls. Yeah. Awesome. We have two girls and a boy. Oh, you know, I never thought that I would like a white watch, you know, color white like this. Mm -hmm. But this watch stands out different. You know what I mean? It's pretty. Right, right? Different, right? Mm -hmm. It's different. Different, yeah. yeah it is comfortable. But for some people, yeah, bracelets you, really comfortable. you have to get there. It's not like, oh, you can't go from Rolex to that because you're going to say 400000 on a ceramic watch. I don't yeah. see the value of it. You know what I mean? That looks like something you would actually wear. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, this has been my daily wear for. Daily? I mean, see, see that one? It's cool. Uh, Omega. Omega is nice. Yeah, Speedmaster. It's good for diaper changes. I like it. Uh, look how look this goods with what you're wearing. Yeah, I'm really kicking myself. I almost bought one when we were in New Orleans. Paddock? Oh. Yeah. Oh, for that fancy one? It was a rose gold and they were, it would have been $40,000. Yeah. Look at it. Stay yeah. here, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's for you and all. 
See, it's just a different vibe, huh? It's, it's so nice. classic. That's it's classic, so nice. man. You know, you see that I and you're like, huh? Yeah. Yes, yeah, it draws the eye so much yeah. more. So. Yeah, my next one's gonna be a tie. It's crazy because before at least, we, you know, wanted it with the bracelet. I like mm -hmm. it a lot better with the leather band, you mm -hmm. know? I've always liked a leather, leather band. band. I've always preferred classic, a leather man. band. But what you wore? Mm -hmm. I'm mean, like, give him a table quick. He's gonna got some money. <laughs> Stop <laughs> putting watches on his arm. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Right. Listen, it's fine for me. This is what I love. No, to no, do. you're fine. You're fine. This is what I love to do. Okay. Taking care of it. Uh, I can't right. afford the watch prices now. Hey, listen, don't. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Learn. You know, you came. You, you know, you took the time to come and say what's up to us, which means a lot to me and to all yeah. our family. Okay. Yeah. Try some watches. Get some ideas, and like that, when you're ready, you call me like, Carlos, Why I'm not? ready. Yeah. Well, I may be able to trade one for upgrade. Send me pictures of the watch in the card. Let's say you want to do the trade. I'll send you some paperwork, which is some requirement by the set of photo. And when you purchase a watch, just to make sure the watch is not stolen, you got to mm -hmm. give me your driver's license, fingerprint, or whatever. You yeah. send the watch over here. I expect that I make that it's the same watch that you're sending. We ship the watch to you. You receive it. You open. You don't like it. You refund your money. Send your label back. So with us, you don't have no problem. Yeah. Have you seen our Google reviews? Well, I haven't looked at them. Well, you gotta look at reviews before you go anywhere. Absolutely. Very important. Absolutely. So before you do the you know, before you do a business with us, you could be more than happy to check your reviews there too. So whatever you need, I'll be glad to help you, right? Okay. Cool. Thank you, man. It's nice to meet you. Write down yourself on them. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, got it. This is what you call a bark finish, if you yes. notice. It's like wood. So try, try try yeah, yeah, so you can compare a 37 to, a, I wouldn't say it really goes across like a, from, from brands, right? So a 37 from AP is not going to feel like a 36 from Rolex, even though I find mm -hmm. them, they, they kind of are elegant, just that smaller size. The 43s are cool. I don't really like that rose color. Okay. You don't like the rose color? This is just to show you the size of the chrono. What size is that? A 41, but it's a chronograph, so it kind of wears a little bit larger. Beautiful too, wow. <laughs> Once you put it on your wrist, <laughs> it's a different game, huh? That looks gorgeous, honey. Mm. Gorgeous. How much is this? That's gonna be around 115 to 120. Mm -hmm. Correct, so the watch game has changed a lot in the last couple of years. Got into it like around 20, late 2012, 2013 with my father. Um, that's my father right there. Artist. Right. Hello guys. How you doing? <laughs> you, look, you look too young to have a, guy, a son this old. I know, right? 18, 19, 40. yeah. He's lucky he has such a young father. All right. Do you mind if I clean it? No, that's fine. Touch the test. Yeah. And then we got this yeah, magic liquid touch. that we put into the watch and, and it cleans we the clean it and dirt, the dead skin. It's crazy. I mean, put this on the pressure test. I've been retired seven years. It's I'm just training just... my my other half to see what's up, see if we can take over and I can spend more time. Your life is too short. You gotta too go short. enjoy it every day. See what I'm saying, wifey? You hear? Yes. Life is too short. It's because you never know. You should let me party more. So, what size comparison did you like better, the 37 or the 39? 30, I think the 39. We clean it up for you now. They're making sure oh, it's watertight you. and everything. What was the price point on the 30? The 39 is 45,000. I'm pretty sure I could do a little bit there better for you. Black ceramic, but it has that gray titanium dial. And the Gray titanium here, and this yeah, right here. And and this strap combination is killer. Let me tell you, usually I don't like 44s. Like mm. I stand, I'm like, but this one caught my eye. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't believe it for me, I think. I want him to understand that like, you're not like spending 45 and it's like gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. That's new, thank you. Shiny. Look at this magic wow. liquid that we have. We can't tell you, we have to tell you, we have to kill you. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's the Stainless like this, they were breaking the 100,000 price mark. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Rolex. They were the first ones to do a lot of things. The most popular watch brand in the world. My son points out they're mass produced compared to AP and... Oh, yeah. So Rolex was producing anywhere in the last... From like 2019, from what I've seen, 2019, 2020, 2021, they're producing anywhere from a million to two million watches a year. AP is producing 30,000 watches a year. So it's a big, big mm -hmm. difference in, in numbers. It's like Patek Philippe is producing around 60,000 watches a year. I don't have no personal 
info with AP and Protect. This is all things that I've seen. If you guys work for AP or Protect, please notify me. <laughs> yeah, you never own a Protect Philippe. You simply take care of it for the next generation. Right, that was really a cool commercial. What's one life like tip or experience, something that you can teach me? Stay as healthy as you can. Stay as healthy, healthy as you can. No, no matter how well you take care of yourself, you get old enough, the parts start wearing out, you know? And you try to, you try to put off the day, I, do, you, I use the term decrepitness, you try to put that off as long as possible. Because if you live long enough, you're gonna go out the way you came in, somebody changing your diaper. I mean, it's, it's true, it happens mm -hmm. to everybody. You just don't think, when you're 27, it's ever gonna happen, because you turn around, before you know it, you're 40, and you know, it's like, nobody lives forever. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I picked up a great motto the other day. Um, you only die once, but you live every day. If you have the health, you have the time, and you have the financial resources, we're going to go, go do it. Don't say, well, we'll go on that trip next year or two years from now, because that may never come. Go, go seize the day, you know? I really appreciate that. Honestly, the quality for you know a budget watch. How much is it? It's like 300 bucks. 300 bucks? Yeah, not bad. But like if you feel it, it feels like you see some like fake uh, Rolexes. The quality compared to it, I mean, it's beat up. I wore it to the water, everything. That's why I wear it every day. But yeah, you can't go wrong. It's like to feed the itch until you buy the real one. How long are you guys here in Miami for? Just the day we're checking yeah. it out. We're from Delray. We're, we're, well, we're from Chicago, so we came to our aunt's. Yeah. We're staying in Delray. Oh, yeah, okay. so we came like an hour. For the day. Yeah. But how long are you guys staying in Florida then for? Till Delray next Wednesday. Till yeah. yeah. next Wednesday? Yeah, so we're for like nine days. Ready for this? Wait, let me get a napkin because you don't try to make his mess. Okay. <laughs> I am here. You are. I'm at only Duke's coffee at 3.30. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just sip it. If you don't like it, just take a little sip and leave it there. We gotta try it. You gonna join me? No, this is This is my girlfriend, Olivia. Hey, Raisa, Miss CRM, would you like to join us? Never say no to conversation. Dan, I'll save you half of mine. Huh? I'll Thank save you, you half of mine. You, you sure? No, I can't. Yeah, I can't yeah. do. That. I can't leave you here watching us drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta switch hands. You gotta show the rich. Oh, then when you do this, this one. There you go. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. It's you guys took the whole thing back. It's, it's all good. It's all yeah. good. I'll pick it up. Yes. You burned yourself a little oh. bit. Oh, it's really it's good. good, but it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's not good, but it's hot. It's like. Actually, it's good. Is there sugar in there? It's yes. Yeah. Oh, it's very good. That looks yeah. like too much sugar. It's, it's, it's like a strong taste. Yeah, very good. 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 Whose coffee is this? You have a bracelet and a left it for me, but you can have it. I think it you was. Like, it was no, for it was you. Prices. You can have it. You can have it. Oh my God. Here. That's love, then? No, I think no, go, 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 go. Do you like some? Take some, Dan. Take some. Take some. Take some coffee. Take some coffee. Take some. There we go. That's Mike, that's one of my first clients. Yeah? One of the yeah. very first, many months ago. Hi, Mike. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I would like better for you, though? Look. Yeah, yeah. shake it. <laughs> I think that looks a lot more elegant. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's nice. Do you want to buy me it? I think we should get that oh. one. But with anything that there's high reward, there's also high risk too, right? So then on bigger pieces, yeah, you can make a lot more money, but you can also lose a lot more money. What's a better or safer investment? Is it buying one Patek or is it buying 10, 15 rollers? I'd rather have that one Patek because it's a lot nicer of a watch, but 
Do you make two grand on each, or do you make it's safe for ten or fifteen on one? It's safer, but you can also make a lot more on the other one. So it's it's kind of like you have to play with it. There's no crystal ball. There's no right or wrong answer. And at the end of the day, yes, it's an investment. Yes, you can make a lot of money or lose a lot of money with it. But they're also time pieces. And before all this pandemic and craziness happened, and if you even go back to 50s, 60s, 70s, people weren't buying this because they knew they were going to make 30 grand on it. People were buying it because because you liked it, and it's a work of art. And so, it's a tool. And it's, it was a tool. Not anymore. Not anymore. I disagree there. So I'm going to get to a new approach. Okay. And then put the actual canvas on top. So I'm gonna staple it. Also, oh, all, all this has to be. Replaced. All that has to come out. All these staples. Yeah, so I'm gonna do with the screwdriver. Just right Add oh, with the screwdriver or with a uh, with a knife. Also, just put it in there and pull it out. You know. Has this been replaced already, or this is the first uh, time it's happened? I, no, it's, it's the, the first, first time it's happened. Oh really? First time. Yeah. We're gonna do it. Well, I'll make it new. I love make it. it new. She'll make it happen. Watch it, then we fix boats. Yes, we we'll do everything. We fix everything. <laughs> we'll fix everything. Love you it. guys, he follow us. He's a, a, a fan. Yeah, huge fan. Huge from New York, you said, right? From, from New, New York. York, straight from New York. My buddies are down here by the beach. I said, I'm starting off my day. I'm coming to CRM. Awesome. I'm coming to meet my long lost family. Awesome. There we go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. I watch every single video that comes out. I'm Thank following. You. I follow the market, but I just, I, don't know, I love the culture here. The culture is next Thank to Thank you, really. I appreciate that. I appreciate it's, that. So you like know. Miami? You like the craziness of uh, Miami? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes in the winter it gets a little bit wild here, like February, January. But I don't know. I love it. I love. I love the culture. It's fun. It's loud. A little crazy. Yeah, right. It's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. There we go. It's a lot. It's a lot of excitement here. I was watching you guys how you make this with the machine and you froth oh, you it. Oh, you watched Dan, Dan doing it? He was oh, knocking he it up. Yes, he, he was yes, shaking it. <laughs> he gets. He takes it very seriously. Yeah. That's your coffee, right? Like yeah. Frothy. And yeah, because you just have to put the first little coffee drops that come out, and then you know. Have you had Cuban coffee before? No. Yeah, what what is it made? What is it made with? Coffee, coffee and sugar. Straight coffee. Straight coffee, coffee, coffee and, sugar. and sugar. Cheers. 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 It's very very hot. Mm. It's burning. It's super hot. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it chill. This is no, delicious. No, is it the sugar that makes Charging. it sweet? That gives it that sweetness? Yeah. yeah. How do you guys drink these a day? Oh. Um, so this is my fourth one already. <laughs> really? Yeah. This is my third. My third and I just drink. Gosh. Mm -hmm. Was it like a shot of like espresso? Like there's a lot of caffeine in here? Yeah. A lot. It's a lot. A lot. A lot. Okay. We jump in around. <laughs> but when, you, when you're like us, that you are so used to it, right. you don't feel it. It'll be like it's just a taste of it, but that's it. Gives your pacifier. Yeah. So oh really? Like, yeah. <laughs> She's one. So. My granddaughter drinks so a little cute. bit. So we'll taste them. She's three, so. Coffee flavored, coffee flavored pacifier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they love it. You ready for this name? GMT Monoposante, right? Which is a single button chronograph. So this one button starts it, stops it, and resets it. Um, eight day, obviously. Um, it's a long name. So was it? Panerai Luminar. Eight day GMT monoposante, something like that. It's, it's crazy. It's beautiful though. Thank you There's very much. Chrono. Very pretty. I would just be scared to wear that because it's ceramic. The ceramic, the ceramic yeah. it's yeah. scary. I mean, listen, they're not for everyone. You I... have to be very careful wearing your watch. Are you yeah. careful with your watches? Um, it happens to be like some of them I sleep with, which I know you're not supposed to, but like, I sleep with my watch on sometimes. I take it off because of the weight, because it bothers me. But then I feel weird because but... then I feel like there's nothing on my wrist. Like so I you, miss the what? you miss Why? the weight. You miss the weight. Who said yeah. you're not supposed to sleep with the watch on? I've heard from some people say that you shouldn't sleep with it because if you're like rolling over at night and you like turn over and you like knock it maybe on like your side yeah. desk or oh, okay, so you may reason. yeah you may okay. accidentally knocking it into something not realizing so that's what I've heard. But from New York, I watch a lot of your videos on YouTube over the past like year year and a half. I've just been watching every every single thing that comes out. The shorts, the full the shorts are more like an experiment. Um, than anything else. Honestly, I don't. I watch more of the episodes. It's not. It's, I don't yeah, even. Yeah. I haven't watched all the shorts. It's yeah, the full episodes. All the TikTok people have no patience. To be honest, like, I've never attention span is like zero. I've never downloaded TikTok. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's exactly why I don't download like, TikTok. Yeah. Cause yeah. Well, the funny thing is that TikTok is is yeah, releasing right. longer videos to compete with no. YouTube, and YouTube is allowing you to do shorts <laughs> to compete with TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> a piece of the pie. Yeah. Twitter, Facebook, I they all do the same, they all copy each other. Yeah. And then. 
So, just the little yeah. flyaways, but it's like... Uh, yeah, big fan of you guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to get going, but it's an absolute pleasure. Thank, thank you, guys. Really, thank yeah. you. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, thank you. Can I get a picture with you? Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. You want me to take over your phone too? Oh yeah, if you can, that'd be awesome. Take a step forward, so you could be like in the right proportion there. Where am I going? Where am I going? In the middle, remember. We got a picture with two midgets. Alright, we're taking Sounds a picture good. with two midgets? That's <laughs> <laughs> your first time. What do you, what do you, what do you want? You don't worry about it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a boxer, so boxers like used to go like this, alright? It's a beautiful bracelet. <laughs> Alright, every morning, right? Yeah. Today I, I box my wife in the morning. <laughs> Knock their ass out. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. tried selling me on it. I'm like, well, I'm only no, playing I clear. I, yeah, I have like a black sub right now. I'm playing Jane. I just got yeah, that. Yeah, I will keep it like that. See, oh, that's gonna be cool. Cool. I forgot to wear it today, but that's the only watch I have. It's all good. It's all nice good. and simple. You guys were born and raised in Fort Lauderdale, or where? Yes, sir. Yeah. Born and raised in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. A little more chilling out there than Miami, huh? Yeah, definitely for sure. For fact. Yeah. 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 Wait, so you guys party over there or party here in Miami? Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Where do you guys go for Fort Lauderdale? We chill like recently, like you know, Ocean Manor. We just go by the beach, relax. Nice little tiki bar in the Get some work done. Beach. The best place nice. to work. Yeah. Be. I would call it Ocean Manor. Ocean Manor. It's like a beach resort. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Yeah. You know about it? No, 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 no. But I, I want to try it out. Try something different, man, on the weekend. Nice solid spot. Yeah. My rings already have this birthday. Yeah, you know what? I was. I used to wear a lot of ice back in the days when I was younger. You know. I think that's the H word. You get over it after yeah, a while. I said the same thing. Like I already know, like two years from now, I'm gonna be like, "This is stupid." Nah, uh, you, you have you your phone. Phone. You have your phone. We've all been through all the stages, and you just keep going through it. So I used to like go that's watch it. But it's a nice set, man. It's it's appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You guys watch my YouTube video now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only reason we came. Okay, that's awesome. We didn't even realize that you guys were in my area. That's awesome, man. Thank you for watching, man. Charlie, show him some pieces there and give him some pieces. So, I always recommend sports models. If you like just your models, my favorite reason is it's your trophy to yourself. It's like, I made it. I got to the point where I wanted to get a knife. I want to treat myself to a Rolex. And you can be any profession. You can be a multi-billionaire. You can be a school teacher. You can be whatever profession you are. And... You get to a certain point in your life where you're like, you know, I saved some money. I want to treat myself to a Rolex. Nice thing. And, and I've met some big, big, big money clients of mine. And their favorite watch sometimes is the cheapest watch in the collection. And I'm like, with, I'm telling you people that probably have over 300 watches, millions of dollars in watches. And they're like, oh yeah, my favorite watch is my $4,000 blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, why? <laughs> it goes, because that's the one that I had to work my ass off for high school and put my pennies together and get it. And that's what it does. In 40 millimeter ceramic Submariners, there's five different dials. Most jewelers here don't know that. Most people don't know that. There's five different dial variations. So with the Pepsi's, there's about three different bezel cup combinations. They came out with that new green and black one, right? Yeah, but I'm talking about the red and blue. Mm -hmm. There's three different shades of red and blue. Oh, really? really? Yes. Yes, exactly, you see? So you have a dark red and blue, you have a light red and blue, and people are like, oh, this is fake, this is real. No, it just kind of depends on when they made it in the progress. The Hulk, so the green on green, there's mm -hmm. three different dial variations of the Hulk. It's, I say that Rolex is like Apple. Like, people are like, this is gonna come out. Until Rolex says, we are releasing this, everything is false. Yeah, I appreciate you guys coming by. Bro. Appreciate you dropping some you dollars for having us. Appreciate oh, the thank dollars. You guys. Thank you. What were your names? Gio. Gio. Kelson. Kelson. And Tyree. Tyree, got you guys. Right. You guys want to take my number down? I'm gonna open my, just open the camera. Whatever you guys need, shoot me a text. You guys want to say what's up? If you're ever in the air, you want to get some Cuban coffee? I just want blue notes, I just want you to Smoke it on good though, piss up on Pluto Pass it like Seattle, uh, howdy ring Can't hit on my table, it's nothing you bring So I'm trying to sell the 5370 to a dealer My boy Eric from East Coast Times What's up, bro? What's up, guy? What's happening? You tell me, man. Are we making I'm some money or what? Hey, you're, you're the 
the papers are what, 2021? 2021, yes. Tell me, you used to have a 5271P, sold it? Yeah, I with sold the, it. With that's the baguettes? Like, yeah, that's the two he's between, yours or that one. I like, I like that watch, but the 5370P uh, has a better movement. It's a split second with the mono pusher, so it's... Yeah, but the 5271 is beautiful. Yeah, it's... it's, it's I mean, look, it's I want a, the guy to buy the other one, right? So we can... Because I can't find this 5271P right now. And I sold mine, like, for 250 What are they selling now for? I have no idea. You want me to double check what you're on the papers? No, it doesn't matter. He'll take it. If he decides that one, he's taking yours. Give him a good price so we can move the merchandise, man. I did, I did, bro. I'm just yeah. trying to make a few bucks. And we'll get you in and let's move. Okay, Bobby. I have all this shit right now, too. This Meteorites, the AP Blue Chrono, new one. I don't understand. I don't understand where all these people went. Uh, you know, they're. And every dealer's just trying to beat everybody by a dollar. That's how they are. Instead of helping each other, they're just trying to destroy everybody. They're just destroying their own market, though. Just trying the old market, yeah. My ADs, some of my ADs are now just dealing. With the retail clients directly and saying, look, I'd rather sell to you for retail. All right, they want top dollar, but then they want you also, hey, make sure, listen. Yeah, I'm good. Make sure, yeah, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Then don't f***ing do it. You don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, meanwhile, they make 100 grand off of retail. I'm it's, about it. Exactly. We don't buy a retail anyway. We buy a market price. But what do you think? Because we've been around long enough in the same place. You think it's coming back? You think it's just a little bit of a... I think it went down a lot. I don't know, 30%. Do I see the market going on paddocks for retail? That's not going to happen because now we're making the productions on the watches, you know. People are just taking a shit right now. They're freaking out because, you know, the recession that we're going to have. But what's going to happen? It's going to go back up. You know, it's not like you could walk around and find 5980s laying around there for retail. You're crazy. Right, 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 right. And the people that have money still have money. They're just holding up right now. They don't they're want, you know, right they're right holding now. up they, right they, now because they probably lost thousands of dollars on Bitcoins and another investment exactly. that they had. Exactly. And they're like, F who needs a Once watch? you get through this little bit of shit, it's exactly the best way you put it is everything is just uneasy. People just holding on tight to their money. Oh. When 2021, they were just spending. You know what spending, I mean? Spending, yeah, man. You now know, you see Bitcoin, the stock market, people are just being tight. And you know, all the dealers worry about like, oh shit, I lost a lot of money. Yeah, we lost a lot of money, but get what? Get back to the real prices right now and start selling and making money at the right. prices right now. Exactly. What's happening right now is my inventory that I have, that I own, is sitting. But every day I'm selling and doing deals every day. Yeah, we are. It's just not my inventory. It's like I'm buying, 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 selling. Selling, selling, selling. Yep, because it's not my inventory. none of us right now want to stock anything because we know we have access to any piece within 24 hours in the dealer's chat. Why would you invest right. on it right now? Correct. Correct. And and listen, but also like we have enough inventory sitting laying around. And, and, and we want to free up some of our own money. And and I'll tell you what, I'm getting used to it and I like it. Fucking Amazon doesn't have doesn't own any product. They get it from somebody else. That's what I fucking want to do. Like what they used to tell me back in the days. Oh, that's not his inventory. He's posting everybody other shit. Shit, that's the smartest shit you could do. Get somebody else an inventory and sell it and have your money free. I told you. Like, bro, you call some of these guys big in new york he might not sound like but i was at his office last week he's freaking out everybody can't even sell his listen shit. the problem is bro he but, built his business just strictly off of i'm gonna buy rain it's gonna go up well but i'm not freaking out at all man you no, know what i'm saying you have a real business you have a story of good clients you gotta to consider you know? your business like a boxing ring you can't win all the time bro it's not gonna happen you know what if my couple million in inventory in the safe has to sit let it sit that's it when it bounces back and doubles all right listen you had five millions okay you lost one you got four you make it back up shit make it back up. you know well, what it is you never lose until you retire there's no loss you made two dollars last year this year you make a dollar it averages out so you made 1.5 i'm happy man i started with zero man i came in a raft yeah, exactly <laughs> me and you can we'll go back to doing hublos and iwc Hell yeah. He loves an IWC. I love you, my brother. Let me know that piece, okay? I'm gonna keep the I'm trying to make it work, bro. I'll let you know. You got it, my brother. Have a good Thank day. Bye-bye. What's that noise? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking the bills that Carlos has spent over here. The what? You're buying the bills that Carlos has spent. The money. What the fuck is that? Purchases. The Carlos has done. Who purchases what? I'm verifying his purchases to make sure he didn't purchase something mm -hmm. that he's not supposed to. But it wasn't. What credit card is that? Shit. The American Express. The American Express.
want to please note that the wallet has a, a fee of $35. So would you take all this silver here? People have this thing stashed in safety deposit boxes all over the world in case of an emergency meltdown. It is not a watch, but it's something oh, very important. Oh, 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 something that we're always lacking at CRM Jewelers. What are we always lacking at CRM Jewelers? Oh, Organization. Yes. Oh, yes. That's it. So somebody, I don't know who it was. Look, I'm not lying. Did you order it? What happened? They gave you that? The it's, the, it's the lid of a, a plastic well, container. Carlos and Charlie at CRM. Somebody sent us. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Nothing. Thank you. Yeah. Pops. Yeah. That was cherry, cherry and milk. Plates. <laughs> was it? I'm assuming. <laughs> and utensils. And little plates for the cakes. Mm. So somebody did this for us. Thank I you think so that was much. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. He never yeah, sent us any other bra. Right so whoever did, thank you so much. We have Alisa. A, a good month, I'll say. A month or maybe. Came to Cuba. No, for the boat. No. Because it's. So we make a lot of custom Cuban links and a lot of people make Miami Cuban links. You see them in New York, and Philly, and wherever. You see them all over the United States, all over the world. But all of that is a lie. We're the only ones that make Cuban links. We make the best Cuban links. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Traditional Cuban links are Miami Cuban links because Cuban links were made by Cubans in Miami. And it's a certain style, it has a certain curve to it. The links have to be a certain tightness to it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of sizes and I guess like the most common sizes that we sell, uh, the most common sizes that people prefer, what's considered a daily chain, what's considered a little too big for a daily chain. So let's have, take off some pieces. To our opinion. Some people wanna use a big chain all day long and you know, oh, I, of course, I don't of course oppose to that, but you know, different people have different opinions. So we're gonna ask, you know, the employees here at CRM, what would be the perfect size? Yeah, I so, don't know, oh, so um, let's start with, what would be a perfect wait, size for you? Wait. Different women want different sizes. She still don't know what size she wants. <laughs> Obviously, like my father says, this is all opinion based and what you think is might be too big for you, might not be too big for somebody else. I will wear something like this, like that. This is a 12, yeah. 12 millimeter. That's gonna be a 12 millimeter. Thickness. Definitely, I like this. 12 millimeter thickness. And the Should be around there. You saw the big 26. one yesterday? No, we have it there. Where is it? But let me let me start it off. You should have brought all of them here so you can see more. No? I'm gonna start from. Yeah, don't worry. Just keep going. Okay. So, what size is this, Charlie? You want to measure? That's gonna be like a 26 inch by 12 and a half to 13. I mean, you should have your measuring tape and just. Leave. I'm measuring tape and then the caliber. I got you. Where's the measuring Dog. tape? I got you. It's right here. Let me let me do. It's okay. a 26. I know my. Hold on, hold on one second. Look. Okay, look it over here. See how it sits. That's a 26 inch. Whoa. I know the change we have in stock. Okay, so let's measure this one. 26, Charlie. Thank you. Let me see this. 11.7, 12 millimeter. Almost it. 12 millimeter. So that's kind of probably like on the highest. Unless you like big change, that's probably on the on the big side. For me, for me, that would be like kind of like this would be a little bit too gaudy. And you the, know what I mean? The, and, the, and the weight of that, Charlie, you have the scale. The scale is okay. You know, this is like a little too gaudy, you know? So this is something on the bigger end, so something you can still wear comfortably daily. Something like my father's wearing right now, that's show, uh, took off the back of the chain. Yeah. All right, that's gonna be like an 18 millimeter, 650 grams, more or less, I think it's just 600 under, grams? It's like just under 650, I think it's like 640. Can you put, can you put it outside your shirt so I can see a little bit of work? It's right? probably a, a 24. That's a 26 as well. 26 as well. The reason that it looks shorter is because, because it's thicker. Because it's thicker. Can you put the 26 to 12 millimeter on the wood see how it looks? Yeah. Yeah, is that scale? Uh, oh, battery charge on No, so we could bring it here. We could no. take the chain there and wait. Better to bring yeah. the chain. I mean, the scale should be here. So, check this out. So, what is the delay? Hey, Charlie. You delay going with the delay. Okay, man. Where is it? So, you see, this is a. What the hell do you mind? So, that looks good, Willie. So, you think I look So, if you notice, even though Willie's 6'7 and my father's 5'5, five five, right? Five five. Wow. 5'4. 5'4. Okay. But if you look, a 26 inch chain, will you stand up straight? A 26 inch chain on Willie, right around here, 
And if you look at on my father, the 26 inch chain sits right around the same height. So the difference is, it's not, your height doesn't really make a difference on where it's the chain neck. falls on your it's neck. It's your neck also too. It's your neck, it's the width of your neck. So if you have a lot wider of a neck, the chain will sit, let me see. This, is, this is Carlos and year 2000. For real. Uh, if you have a wider neck, I'll be like this. I have some pictures. You can pull it out. You can pull it out. Me, 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 year 2000. Pull me your avatar. You would have to make it shorter. You know what? Yeah, it's way it's too long. You like it like that? Like so short of that? I like it. I don't like it at all. I like it like this. Way too Way too big. I don't like it. Yeah, bro, it has to be a lot shorter. I would, I would definitely, listen, thick chains on a girl look good if you wear them like a yeah, necklace. Here we have water, Windex, you know, the usual office thing. 602.8 grams. I wouldn't wear something like this. It's a little too large for me. What about more regular size, you guys? So look, right here, this is would be on the smallest size that is still handmade. This is an eight millimeter. The smallest we can make, it's seven, but they usually don't take orders for seven since they're very, it's a lot of work for a little chain and the smaller the chain is, obviously once you get to a certain size, it gets a lot harder, but the smaller the chain is, it's very hard to work with. I believe this is 26 inches as well. What I like is honestly an 11. I think it's the happy medium between thin and thick. If you tell me between 24 and 26, I don't like chokers. I know people like to wear 20s, 22s. I don't like that style personally. So even though I'm short, I really like long chains because that's like the old school style. Like this. My brother Brad. What's going on, big man? How you like it big or thin? What are we talking about? The chain. <laughs> the chain. <laughs> it, dep it depends. Let me see what the thing Put that on. Put it on. What's up, my brother? Hey, Jake. I'm doing all right. All right. How's that? That's 28, right? That's, that's like a 28. Is that too long for you? What 28, you what? 10 millimeter, Charlie? It's a little long for me. It's, it's, it's a little long for me. It's a little long. It'll be 26. Sound like this. Yeah, I could do something. Yeah, like bro, it's I could a do pretty boy, like man. You know? I'm about to say, I don't want, I don't want the drip to over. I don't want the drip to overshine me now. Let me talk about real quick about 24 to 26 inches. 24 goes over your head. It's a little bit harder to go over your head, especially me. I got like big ears and big nose. It gets stuck. The 26 will go over your head on and off a lot easier. However, if you're like somebody like me who's always on the water, you're always on the boat and stuff like that. If you jump off the boat with a chain like this, this can easily come off over your head. So 24 is a little bit better in the sense that you have to fight so it's to like take off. It's like having a safety class. Even though this has a safety class, but it's like a very big yeah. loop over your head. Somebody that we knew jumped off the, the back of the house oh, and lost his Cuban link. Yeah. yeah, he lost so his Cuban link. Scuba divers and everything, they never found it? Yeah. If you have to pick something- you For Betty? Yeah, so actually for, for Betty, Betty for Betty, we were actually playing around with this idea the other day. But this is what I would choose for Betty. Like, don't look at me crazy. No. But for what? But watch this. Come here. <laughs> I'm gonna blow your mind. Betty. The last book, but they already got other papers, and everything is good under provision. So everything that is uploaded is perfect. Okay, cool. Betty. Then you need the violation of the tree. So. Take a number, darling. I'm standing here with something. They told me to choose a cute link for you. They tell you to do what? To choose a cuban link that I think looks good on you. Be so careful. I brought this out and they looked at me crazy, but they don't know what, what I have. I love like, that. That, I love it. Here. Let's make it as sexy as possible. I know, but come here. So wait, wait, wait. I love it there. I love it as an uncle. Maybe not with these heels, or at least not with that bow. That looks beautiful. That looks sick. I love it. It's very pretty. I think that looks beautiful. I love it. Cool. See, I threw a curveball there. I smell like flowers coming out of here. That's good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> flowers. Thank <laughs> so you. I'm gonna show you anything else about the Cuban links. No, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Some pictures of a uh, few watches that I have. You're selling some watches? Yeah. Which brand? Uh, they're all Rolexes. I have a bad girl. Bad girl. Lots of papers. 2020. I have a Alice style. 
The bag girl we buy at around seventeen thousand dollars. I'm doing a little research here. I'm in chats with dealers from all over the world where I put yeah. a reference number and, and it tells me yeah, how much they're selling, they're asking, and all that stuff. Like realistic market value, not not Chrono 24 value, not internet prices. That watch man went up so high and it just came down. The plain one was all the way to one hundred and ten thousand dollars, and now you can find it for sixty thousand. Yeah, I know. It's freaking crazy, man. You should have sold a few months ago, like me. <laughs> this is an anniversary dial. Yeah. And this one has the diamonds. I know it, it'll it it'll come back up. But the thing is, I'm trying to buy a house in Colombia. I pay too many taxes here, man. I yeah. paid 230000 last year. If I spend 11 months out of the country, I can save myself that money. And what better place than Colombia? I do. The weather's <laughs> beautiful. I mean, I have other watches, but these are the ones that I'm willing to part with. And yeah. I can't use them down there. Weather is amazing, and, and the women are so ugly over there, man. Yeah, moral support. I love that. <laughs> the only bad thing is my wife will kill me if I tell her to go to Colombia. <laughs> hey, if I'm down there, you're fine. Watch it. For business, right? She like, I'm coming with you for sure. A thousand percent. She's like, I'm coming with you. I have two options for you, man. I don't know how how in a rush you are for the money on the pressing. But if I have to buy for stock, I, I would say 70,000. And then I'm not too excited to buy it. But if you have a number in mind, you can say, Carlos, look, you know, I paid this much. I, I think I could make this much. You put it on consignment. And like that, I don't have to stock. You know, once I buy the watch, it's gonna sit here. And you know, I don't know when it's gonna sell, how the market is right now. 70, you said the, for the bank girl for 17, that's 87. The only thing that we're pending is the blue C, right? The blue C. Do you know if it, do you know the first letter of the serial number? Yeah, I have it right here. The serial number for this one it, starts with an M. M is actually 2006. Okay, send me some pictures and then we'll go from there, my brother. All right, thank you very much. You okay, got it, my man. You. Thank you, bro. Bye. Did my cutting skills work? They did. What do we have here? A lot of envelopes. Man, we can use these yeah. things. I guess, wish protected. What's up, what's up? Hi. Chilling, chilling. No, it's not legit. Yeah, so this is imitating, and you have a screw missing out of here. Yeah, I know. But it's imitating a white gold frosted. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see that. Thank you, Chad. All right. Have a good one, brother. Let's bet $100. Let's bet $100. At the 5712R. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, can you like open it like a professional? Like, you know, keep it straight. $100? 5712R. That's Charlie Christ. Oh! <laughs> Let's see what it is! Mm -mm -mm -mm. A 57.12 with the stars and the moon and a crotch strap and his rose gold! This is a very elegant dress watch. Elegancia, puro elegancia. Keep it there. What watch are you trying to sell? Yeah, I, I wanted to go online, but I didn't have pictures of it because I have the opportunity to pick it up. It's the uh, yellow gold Submariner with the blue. With the blue dial, yeah. I'll tell you what's going on right now, what happened with the market, man. The market has crashed, and, and I get like 20 calls a day, like people like you, that they don't even have the watch, and they're trying to sell it to make money. I'm going to check what the retail is and how much are they selling in the chats because nothing is selling right now. I put my, you know, I registered my interest in it a while ago when it was really high but a while I've been waiting. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been a while, man, and the market has hit the bottom real hard, and you know what's gonna be with the whole entire amount with taxes and everything? Did you ask your dealer? Uh, just about 42. Let me see, let me, let me make sure. Hold on one second. 
And let me see if I find a blue one here. I'm more just setting in the chat just to see if it makes sense. There it is. Yeah, man. You know, I see a blue one here, brand new for 45,000. So I don't know how much it's gonna be in taxes, but I guess if I, if I was gonna buy one, it's gotta be at least uh, 42. Yeah, so it'd be a break even pretty much. Yeah. yeah, man. Cause I could, you know, I could buy one here in the uh, dealer's chat at forty-five thousand without having to stock, even though that the market is going down. So for me to buy it, to sit it here at the store, and and the market keeps dropping, I'm gonna lose money. I'd rather not buy it, you know, to try to save two thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Hey, I get it. That's and no one has bought it. You know, this is just asking price, which is not market value. You know what I mean? Be... I'll pass on it. I'll pass on it. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Yes, not on that one, man. Try to get at least a Daytona. You might make a little bit, but. Gotcha. But yeah, on this one, you're going to cut it even, man. <laughs> it's not going to be worth it. Thanks again. You got it, my friend. Have a good day. Common sizes that we sell the most. <laughs> the common sizes that we sell the most. And 